I posted for a software engineering job yesterday. In one day, I have received around. So the number one step that the company will do going through a ATS system. Now these will be going to a HR. Again, HR is a non-tech person. Optimize your resume for that non-tech person role as well. This is Rajat, an ex-Microsoft employee. His resume, even though served at B-Tech from non-CS background, got shortlisted in leading MNCs and eventually offers from Amazon, Adobe, and Microsoft. In this video, let's reveal the secrets to building an effective resume. Hi, I'm Raghu Alam of IIT Madras and this podcast 47 minutes long and I shared the full video through the link in description. But to save you time, I summarized all key pointers and presented into a 7 minute video in an attempt to give you maximum value per minute. Let's start with basics. Like when sir talked about how they recruit candidates, I was amazed to find the job opening is to competition ratio in 2025 is like 1 is to 3000. And in some cases, 8 is to 23,000. So companies first eliminate 75% of candidates using a computer tool called ATS. And then the resume will send to non-technical HR. So they don't really know what is React, what is JavaScript, what is Java, what is C++. One candidate commented that I did PhD in X, worked in a company in X, did internship in X. Then the interview looks at you in all seriousness and genuinely wants to know if you know anything about X or have any experience with X. Because once after the non-tech HR shortlist, the candidate will write return test. Then they interview with the technical HR. So the best format is the one which is optimized for ATS and for a non-core person as well. Let me share sir's technique on how to optimize for ATS in a moment and the free template so that you can prepare your resume in 5 minutes. Before that, a quick announcement. If you are a student dreaming of landing a top tech role with a 30 plus LPA package, Nextwave Launchpad is having a special free online webinar on November 1st just for you. Learn directly from IITN mentors who have cracked top roles at companies like PhonePay and Flipkart. They will show you how to get ready for these jobs step by step and what big companies look for. Over 5000 plus IITNs have already benefited from their webinars and now it's your time to join this moment. I would say don't just wish for a great tech job, make it happen. Sign up for the free talk now, the link is in the description. Now let's understand how to structure our resume. On the top, write personal info, rahukdtray at gmail.com. This was my first email. I thought it was cool, just how I thought I was attractive, but girls in my college disagreed. So create a professional looking email plus LinkedIn and write name, mobile number, email and LinkedIn in the first section. The next section again, human psychology, people will start seeing from the top. The first thing should be your strongest point. But reality as sir mentioned, not all of our strongest points is the strongest point. For example, recently I met one of my junior from our college sports team who is currently sitting in placements and when I met him, I was shocked as he had gained a lot of weight. I understand its placement, but I felt it's unfair because I know he's a department topper, had been active in many clubs, not just a participant, but also had won accomplishments with them. So we had a chit chat while conversation. I understood he was doing a lot of card work because he was trying for different roles. But while conversation, he also mentioned one point. He said, for each company, he writes a new resume, highlighting himself relevant to the job role. Points. Are you applying for a tech role? So your strong point should be like, if you have nothing, your strong point should be like, you have great projects. Like include yeah. those on the top that I have learned these, I have done this great three, four projects, right? You can build your projects that is in your control. You can go to okay. hackathons. Right? competition. Hackathons mm. happens everywhere. I used in my first year, I used to go to IIT Delhi. If you are not from Delhi or like places like this, you can do do competitions on uh, online, right? Like there is Hacker Earth is very good platform for contest. Leak Code has contest. Right? Every a lot of contests are happening online. Right? Good okay. contest. There might be contests from MIT, Stanford, and these types of places as well. Participate in them. Try to win those competitions or so try to gain some accomplishments in those competitions. Those are the things which you can do. Open source contribution is something which you can do, right? Internships, not everyone will get it, right? Like you might not get an internship from Microsoft, but open source contribution, anyone can do. And open source contribution is considered as equal to as an internship by the industry. Now comes the question, how can we make this resume ATS friendly? Let's understand it quick with a fictional trauma story inspired from real events. This is Arjun. From first year onwards, he worked hard in his college with the goal to uplift the life of his low-income earning parents. Arjun was excited about a software developer role at a top company. So by fourth year, he had worked on major projects, learned coding language and built apps that help real businesses. He wrote a neat resume listing his skills and experiences and sent it off to companies with high hopes. Days passed, no reply. Weeks passed, no 
not even a rejection. Arjun applied 10 more jobs, still no luck. And this process of applying in volume still had rejections despite having skills had happened to many people in real. And the reason is ATS is an automated system. It matches the job description with resume and looks for certain elements in it. Then it does a short list. So how to get past this ATS system? If you see my resume, the first life cycle was it will go through an ATS automatic system. So you will see an option of skills that I have mentioned. Why I have included this? This will increase my ATS score. It will get my resume shortlisted by the software system because it is just looking for keywords and matching the keywords and then getting selected. Including that will help improve your ATS score and will get you through the first screening round by the ATS. Right? There is also a website called Resume Word, I think, where you can check your ATS score after you have created your resume. That will tell you what is your ATS score. Try to make it up of nine. That is the first thing. Second is non-tech person will see your resume. HR is a non-tech person. Important to realize that. Now, when you are writing your projects, mention accomplishments rather than what you have done. Don't write, I have built a website in JavaScript and done this. Right? Just try, try to write what is the project able to achieve. Right? So, for example, creating this website increases the enrollment rate of a comp of our college fest by 90%. You created a website for a college fest and then you increase it like, or increases the awareness of the campaign by 90%. Right? Okay. So that is now results of the of what you have done and it can be easily read by a non-tech person without going into the technical details. And okay. then the second point you can mention the tech, but the first point can be your accomplishment which can be read by a non-tech person and then the second point can be tech which is important of course it will increase your ETS score as well. If you write react multiple times it will increase your ETS score. And for those of you who is looking to build an ATS friendly resume for free, check this out.